Thanks for checking out my podcast. I promise to keep real talk true to its title. Always honest and always real. Why not today? What's stopping you from, like, doing that thing, that that one thing, whatever that is? Like, what is it that is stopping you? There's something. It's either something, somebody, something you heard. But what's actually stopping you from taking that class? Um, what is it that's stopping you from starting your business or starting your side hustle if you've got a job um, or talking to that certain guy or that certain girl and and you've just paused every time because you see him and then you don't want like what is it that's stopping you um I just I just want you to think about that for a second first especially if there is something right now that you're already instantly as this as this started you know like dang why haven't I started blah 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 <laughs> okay like what is that um because most of the time, like, our mind is going to encourage the easier solution. And this is just something that I can say that I've seen true for myself. Um, the podcast is real talk. Like, we'll get to the point where we're sitting down and talking to other people. But right now, I'm going to tell you, honestly, I've seen how my mind in the past has encouraged the easier solution. Like, perfect example for me is just working out. Um now, especially, it's being di- it's very different, I'll say, because having a kid that goes to school means he's up, got to get him ready, got to get him to school, go to work, come back. I'm a little bit beat. I don't feel like going to the gym. And, if, and, and I do know that if I go to the gym, it's not going to be the best workout. And I'm not going to be putting the effort forward. And then I'm going to be mad at myself, like I'm just wasting my time tricking myself at the gym so I know that it's about waking up early. Well, I just haven't had it in me to wake up early and get that workout in, which is kind of like the situation and the problem of that is why I never made it to the gym. So it's amazing how you can find ways to legitimize your excuse. You know, work has been busy. Kids are driving me crazy. My girlfriend, my boyfriend is is on one right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. We're supposed to be getting married. It could be like just a, just different excuses and, and emotions. Oh, man. Emotions. They will get you going. So emotions, I think, feed into a lot of that negativity and discouragement as well. Like that'll stop you from doing something today just because you're emotional that day and that moment. And to be honest, it's not really always that whole day. You're just super emotional at that moment. Something just happened, and then you happen to think about it at that moment and realize, no, I can't go work out because I don't feel like it, and I'm upset now about blah, blah, blah. Well, if you check with yourself later that afternoon or maybe in that evening and be like, hey, should I go to the gym? Your emotion might not be there. You might not be upset the same way, and you might go to the gym. However, you have stopped asking that because you already Turned it down once earlier in the morning. So why ask it again later? I'm only saying this because this is how my mind has justified excuses for several, several years. Like, if I didn't share this with you, this would not be real talk. Like, I've done it to myself to where later I'm kind of mad at myself. And then I'm like, bro, why did you make yourself that excuse? You should have done it. You know you should have done it. I just hadn't done it yet to understand why. And that's what I want to let you know is once you see change, it kind of becomes addictive. Like once you get up in the morning, for for me, for example, the workout in the morning, once I was up early in the morning and then once I was going, it kind of, and then like by about eight o'clock, I'm like, man, I'm feeling great. That feeling is what you want to do. That's what you want to become addicted to. Not consistently sleeping in, putting off that that business, putting off whatever you wanted to do. Um, oh, I'm not going to talk to that girl because, oh, I don't know, she's pretty and I can't talk to her. I like, just talk to her. Just talk to her. Try it. Like, hello normally works. 
Um, and if she's really that just arrogant, ain't going to talk to you person, you don't want to be with her anyway. And if he's that dude, you don't want to be with that dude anyway. But take your shot is all I'm saying, because we only get so many walk bys. And if you don't do it, then there's going to be that time later when you're like, man, I should have done it. You don't want to live with that. I don't want to live with that. I don't want anything that I regret later in life to be something I didn't do or try. Like, if it's a regret, like, hey, man, I tried to make it to to be a professional bowler, and I failed. I, I couldn't do it. You know, you got to have, I, I only got a couple strikes in me normally per, per those rounds. So I'm not a professional bowler. Like, okay, cool. There's certain things that I am not, I, I, I'm not going to be able to make that happen. But I'll be glad I tried. I'll be like, you know what, man, Chris, you tried. And if I gave it my best shot and practiced and worked hard, I'd feel okay. That's not a regret to me. The regret is not talking to that person, not trying to be a professional bowler, if I was really serious about it. But you understand what I'm saying. Why not take that shot? Why not have that regret of it didn't work out as opposed to what if? Because what ifs can haunt you for a very, very long time. I'm just going to share that with you now if you don't know that already. Um, And to leave you with this question, all right? Do you want to be better than you are today? That's what I'd love for you to think about for a minute. Like, do you really want to be better than you are today? Take the first steps, be a better you, and try it today. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Would love to hear what it meant to you. Shoot me a message at Chris Lowe's Media on Twitter. Let me know you heard the podcast, and I'd love to send you an encouragement card. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.